Hey, welcome. In this lesson, I'll talk about writing code in a way that is simple, clean, and concise. Data scientists often struggle with this when they first start coding, or even if they've been coding for years in a more research or academic setting. When you're working in industry, your code could potentially be, uh, be used in production. The production code or uh, software is a software running on production servers to handle live users and data of the intended audience. For example, when you're on your laptop using software products like Facebook, like Google, Amazon, the code that's running the service you're using is production code. Ideally, code that's being used in production should be uh, meet a number of criteria to ensure reliability and efficiency before it becomes public. So to write a uh, simple, clean and concise code, we, we can uh, comment our code. The comment is very, very useful. Uh, take a look at this code that initializes a list of uh, student test scores and print mean of test scores. If we avoid this uh, comment from this uh, code, so what, what does uh, this uh, code uh, mean? So we can uh, understand uh, this code without uh, comments. So uh, the second is also uh, that uh, just uh, carve scores with square root method and store in a new list for every x, uh, x times, uh, or an, uh, square root of x times 10 for x in uh, list of student test score or test scores. And it's going to print out the mean of the curved test score. So every comment tells us about the line of code you wrote. All right. Uh, what, uh, With this code, you wouldn't know what was happening right away without this comments. If you avoid or remove, ignore that comments, you can't understand even what was uh, happening right away without uh, this comments. And now we know what both of these lines stand for without the comments which will help us throughout the program wherever this variables in are used. For example, we can uh, we also use the function with a descriptive name, mean, instead of running a calculation each time. Instead of uh, running a calculation each time, we, uh, we also use a descriptive name, mean, uh, or built-in function or method. This not help us readability, but follow the don't repeat yourself principle or don't repeat yourself. This is very, very uh, uh, important uh, principle you should follow when you are writing your code. Don't repeat yourself principle is very useful as a data scientist or uh, data engineer or a full stack uh, engineer. Uh, so we can write this code uh, with functions and meaningful names, variable names like test scores. This we can understand that this is a list of test squares and it's going to print the mean of the test squares. And curve test scores, uh, we can just square root the, the score and multiply it by 10 for every score in test scores and created a new list that contains a list of curve test scores. And it's going to print out the mean of uh, curve test scores. So this Without comment, we can use functions or meaningful names, variable names. So the meaningful names are B descriptive and implied types. This is very useful while writing your code. B descriptive and implied types. For example, for Boolean, you can prefix with is or has. This is very uh, useful and we can understand this is a condition and use parts of speech to imply types like verbs for functions 
and nouns for variables. This is very useful when uh, writing uh, your function. And be consistent, but clearly differentiate. For example, edge list and edge is easier to differentiate than edges and edge. So in this example, we can take a look at uh, the initialization of edge list. So this, we can, we, we can understand without comment, this is list of edges and uh, rather than uh, using edges. If you put edges, this is not a good uh, name, not a descriptive name. So edge is a single value. So we can understand that if uh, in this uh, uh, code is minor, that is either true or false. This is a condition we can understand is minor or has minor or is minor, either true or false, the value is. So such kind of uh, writing way is very, very useful to write simple and clean and concise uh, code. So while writing your code, you, you, you should be descriptive. Uh, uh, you should be writing a descriptive uh, name, imply types like is uh, or has a prefix before and use parts of speech uh, implies type like verbs for functions and nouns for uh, variables. And be consistent, but clearly differentiate like this. And also avoid abbreviations and single letters like X, for example, X is, it doesn't uh, describe X, there is value something, H. I mean, X, Y, A. This single letter is not advisable to use as a variable. Avoid abbreviations. Abbreviation is not good name. So you should have to avoid while writing your code to write clean and uh, simple, pre, uh, uh, concise code. Long names are not the same as descriptive names. For example, let's, let's take a look at, uh, at this example. Count unique values of name list with sets and passes argument names list. This is a long names. It doesn't uh, mean a descriptive names. So we have to avoid using long, long names while writing your code. Uh, so, uh, so this is a bad code and a better way is writing like this, descriptive name, count unique values. And instead of names list, we can pass arguments, error, and print us uh, the count of that uh, set. This is a better way, and this is bad. So, and the other most important uh, thing while writing your code is nice white space. Use white space properly. Organize your code with consistent indentation. Indentation is very, very important while writing your code. It could be uh, readable. The standard is to use four spaces for each indent. You can make this a default in your text editor. For example, in Jupyter notebook, there is uh, indentation. The default indentation uh, is four. So four is very, very uh, useful. It is a standard indentation. You can use eight, but not uh, a standard. And separate sections with blank lines like this. This code is uh, two sections and separate by blank line. There is a blank line between the function name and the return statement. So that is a good way to write uh, simple, uh, clean and concise code. So separate sections with blank lines to keep your code well organized and readable. Try to limit your lines to around 79 characters limit your lines, maximum lines of uh, uh, characters are 79, which is the guideline given that PP8, uh, you can read the guidelines actually, there are a lot of things in the guideline, what are the, that's a common, not only for Python, every programmer should understand the guidelines about P, PP8, what are the steps to write clean code style guide, in many good text editors, there is a setting to display a sample, sample uh, line that indicates where the 79 character limit is. So those are very, very useful uh, way to write clean, concise, and simple code. And you can put 
comment for every lines of code in your code. And if you are write your code without any uh, comments, you should put meaningful names, variable names, uh, function names, uh, uh, be descriptive and imply types like, uh, for example, Boolean, you can prefix with is has if you put uh, your code without comments and use parts of speeches to imply types like verbs for functions, nouns for variables, and so on. Be consistent and clearly differentiate. That's what use meaningful names and so on. Those are the way how you can write clean code simple, clean, and concise code. Thanks for watching.